Hello everyone <laughs> and welcome uh, back to my channel. It's been five months since I've uploaded a video. That was the start of the coronavirus pandemic and now we are um, in August. So I think that really says something about me in the fact that I'm pretty lazy because I didn't upload a video for that long. But I decided since I'm back in school and I get out like fairly early, um, I would sit down and make a video for once. Um, my 16th birthday is coming up on September 2nd. And for my birthday, I was supposed to be seeing um, My Chemical Romance at Riot Fest. And that would have been great to do, but obviously it's canceled and it's been postponed until next year. Um, but I thought I would do some the some makeup that um I would have worn to said riot fest that I'm no longer going to but we'll be doing the makeup anyway so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our messy desk and pick up the foundation we need we're going to be using um, Maybelline Fit Me in the lightest shade they have, which is um, Fair Porcelain. And we're going to just put that all over our face. That's the plan. So I just dump it on the sponge because uh, that's what I do. And I'm running out, so I need to get some more. But then... And it works um pretty well if you don't have super dry skin because like usually when I put it on, if you get close enough, you can see how how crusty my skin is. But that's besides the point. We're just doing this for fun. No one's gonna be seeing me up close, so I can use this one. And it isn't my skin color, but that's kind of the point. Um, because I like doing extra makeup so it's nothing matches what it's supposed to okay so now that that's on and we have on our foundation miss the spot right there but now that we have that done i'm gonna put a headband in my hair and do my eyebrows because i shaved off the ends of them so now i get to draw them on and I don't have any eyebrow stuff, so I just take um, this brush, it's a rounded brush, and I um, wet it with water, and then I take black eyeshadow and I just, whoosh. now here I'll show you. Okay, so here's the water, perfect, and then take black eyeshadow, and you like start here normally. You know, like make the outline of the eyebrow. So I made this line after I wet the brush. And then you just go out like that, kind of. But you make it look nicer than I did. Close up on the eyebrow. Um, I'll do the other one. I'll fix this one and I'll be right back and show you. Okay, so these are the brows. Um, This one I messed up, so we're gonna do concealer next. I'll shape it up, that one looks pretty decent. Um, But I'm gonna use this e.l.f. thing that I bought at Target on clearance. And it just has like color correctors and uh, actual concealer in it. So I'm gonna use that on my eyebrow. Okay, so um, I did that and now i'm gonna take the other side of my beauty blender and just like blend out the edges of the concealer like this so when i when i'm done i'll show you what the top half of my face looks like okay so there's my eyebrows. Um, they're a little bit crooked, but um, I don't usually film it because I'm so lazy. But I think that's pretty good considering um, my skill level. But next, 
is the eyes. Um, and I'm going to take my brush that I always use. This one from Sephora. I don't know if it has a name, but it's the one I use. I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow again. It's just right here to the side, so. And I'm gonna just pack it on both eyes, like about here. Like that. On both eyes. So let me do that to the other eye and I'll be back. Okay, so um, I did the black. I blended it out a little bit on both sides. And now I'm gonna take um, the same brush and the same black, but put it on my under eye now. Just like that. On both sides. Okay, so now that we got that done, I'm gonna take a different black, but this black has um, purple glitter in it, and I'm gonna use that instead, and it comes from this. We're not gonna talk about it, but it's called Executioner, it has purple glitter in it. It's really pretty and I'm gonna just like pack it on there on both sides. So when I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, so you probably can like barely see it, but it's there, there's glitter on my eyes now. So now for the inner corner, I'm gonna take um, just like plain white and put it in with this brush um, that I stole was an accident it was an accident I swear um, but I'm gonna take white it's called your majesty and I'm just gonna put it on the inner corner like that so I'm gonna do that on the other eye too so now that there's a white on there I'm gonna take um like a highlighter white color and I'm gonna put that on the inner corners now. It's from the this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called Pluto. And there, just a little bit for a little bit of sparkle. And the eyes were um, fairly simple, but now we're gonna do um eyeliner which always stresses me out a bit but I'm gonna do it so there's so much black that basically if you mess up the eyeliner just blend it in that's what I do but I like to go a little bit under right here on my eye and just do like the sharpest one I could do with this round fraying tip that I accidentally bought but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so drawing on the wing So that's not as thick as I want it, so I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so I'm gonna fix the point and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So just give me a sec. So this is the eyeliner that ended up happening. I'm not really sure if it is a vibe, but <clears throat> we're just gonna go on with it. So now I'm gonna do my inner corners. So let's do that. So 
So I'm gonna do that on the other side. So that's the eyes. Um, next is the face part. So like my imaginary contour that I don't really consider contour because it's just black. I just put black on my face, but I like how it looks. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm taking this brush that I got definitely not used for contouring but we're going to take it and use it for contouring so I'm going to take that black eyeshadow the plain one it's called black hole if you were wondering and I just crunch up the brush like this so it gets skinny and I kind of just like dab it on at this chunk of hair on my face and I swipe it down after that just like that and it might look a little bit dumb, but that is okay because you're going to a concert and it's a fun look. And no one is there to judge you. So then do the same thing. You can't see that, but do the same thing on this side. Okay, so we got that. Looks kind of dumb, but that's okay because this is a trust the process type of thing and now we're just gonna do this real quick on our jaw since we don't have a jawline <laughs> sad but we just do that and it kind of looks like we got something going on right there so i'm gonna just do that on the other side jaw done i know you can't really see that but it's because i don't know I can't turn my head and see at the same time. Well, I guess I can now. So, blend that out. Because I can see that. That might be an issue. Um, fix that up a little bit. Look at yourself. That's an important step. Um,. So now we're gonna do nose. Usually I do very harsh lines, but I've recently been trying to do more of a natural, if you will, kind of thing. So blow that off because there's probably too much and you don't know how to control the amount you put on your brush apparently. But we're just gonna dab. So then we just do that on the other side. I think that might look okay. Close up on that. So yeah, um, it looks pretty decent if you ask me. Considering the fact I don't know how to do anything subtle, why am I closing that? We still need it. So now I'm going to take the matching brush to the eyeshadow one, go into Pluto, and use it as a highlighter. Because my real highlighter is uh, shattered into a million pieces, and I still have yet to throw it away. I have an issue. <laughs> but we're just going to do that. On our cheeks, and on the tip of our nose. You know, no more highlighting spots. And then the bridge. And I guess right here is fine too. Um, so now I'm gonna do a lip, a lip. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna do a lip. And if you do a dark eye, they say do a neutral lip. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. So we're gonna take, um, Kat Von D's shade of let me find it okay so we're gonna take um I don't oh I don't remember what I oh it's called Lolita this shade um Kat Von D studded lip thing um that I got a sample of and I still have because I don't wear lipstick often because usually when I go somewhere and I like think about it and I'm like, am I going to be eating there? And if the answer is yes, I'll like put on chapstick or 
lip gloss, give or take. It really depends. So now for our lips, we're going to take the same brush we use for our eyebrows, but flip it over and use the pointy side for the lips. And recently I've been doing um, the rounded Cupid's bow because like that's what everybody's doing. So we're going to do that because why change it? And then you're going to fill in the rest of your lip. So that's the lip. I did the lip. It's like a brownish, reddish, pink shade, if that makes literally any sense. Uh, but now I'm going to let down my bangs and my hair and see how it looks because I think this will look pretty decent actually for once and I cut my hair real short and I think it looks nice but um yeah that's the end of the video this was my riot fest look but um thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later bye